quick for peeing it down. Welcome to Scotland, go see them when you go. I'm just making this fixture to hold the three jaw chuck and the tail stock, so that's, that's me just tacked it, welded it. I could be playing the actual um, this bit, but uh, it's not too bad, I'm only off 10,000, 11 maybe. Quite happy with that. I'm trying to work out how to hold it and uh, both chucks, but there's a centre there, so I've drilled it and put an M10 bolt in so I can hold that stud and indicate it. I think that's all the problem solved now. Part of the building is cut off. I'm going back to the live centre, I'll see if I can get the penalty. Well, the map and we've done them anyway. This down the top of the to be the best. Not just the top of the top of the top. So, if you know for a lot of the grinding bit, that's the way. That's the king pin out of the tractor turned back in ready for welding. Yeah, There's quite a lot of wear in it so I took it back till it was round and I'm going to weld it for that position. That's my job for, I had to make a new uh, mount for here. It's M10 into the hole they originally had. Oh, I tapped and threaded it. So. Um. Getting the, I've got the old bushes out with a hammer and a pole clutch hill. So this is me pushing the new ones in. I uh, happened to just find this. At the, this is working. Worst comes to worst, I'll get the press going and push it in with the press, but it's just going to that at the moment. Well, no, I've got it a bit further. I've been spraying it with WD-40 just to give it a lubricant to go in. This is the first one. I want to go in from the other side, but we're getting there. So it's kept the shape as well. That's the first one in. And then not too bad. You can see it there. So I'll flip it around the other way and see if I can get the other one to go in as easy. Not likely. Mm, uh, lip there, I'll just uh, do that wee file. It'll be okay. That's the second bush nearly halfway in. WD-40 seems to be working quite well. Just let it slide down there. Oh, let's see how it goes. It's, it's going on easier on the other side. That's the old bushes out of the steering arm. And I've got both the new bushes in there. I used the old-fashioned way of Eki thump with a big hammer and a tool to get them back in. And a cold cut just to get them out. Yeah, just been welding up the kingpin. A few bits to get yet, but I was using 3.5 and 4 mil rods. Uh, but the welder didn't like it, so I've had some fun with that. I'm just going to let it all cool down now, and then just come back in and fill up the wee holes that need filling up. It's over now. That's um, the kingpin re-welded and turned down. There's a couple of wee bits could be doing a bit of a weld, but I think I'll just leave them. Um, it's slightly oversized at the moment, so I can take it down with Sandpaper. I put the three jaw chuck back in and I'm getting on great with it. Um, I've been drilling out, trying to drill out this bush. 
Yeah, this is one of the arms off the steering. The offside one, I think you would call it. But I've run a 17mm drill down through it and now I'm just twisting out with the pliers to get the rest of it out. It's not wanting to come out still. This is one of the steering components here. I've uh, drilled out the push. This is the original pin coming out. Look, look at the wear on it. <clears throat> That's part of the steering. It's been a long time like that, I think. So we've got to get a new bush in here, I'll have to make a bush. This is still tight. There we go. This end's still tight through the, the steering arm on the tractor. So that's my size and then I'll need to make a bush to go in here. Well we've hit a little bit of a snag. The, this is the original splines here. and They won't even go through the bush. So I'm in two minds whether to heat it up and let them drop in or um, press them in as the arm. Well, the problem with that is I might push the bush along as well. Not sure. Probably try heating it first, but if they watch this bearing, see how it goes. Uh, we've hit a snag here. The, these holes, the, they've shrunk, so even this spline won't go in there. So I've got this hole saw that's about the size, so I'm going to run it through and See if we can open up a bit rather than do anything with that. Bring you back once I get Well, there. when I put the phosphor bonds bushes in, and uh, they wrinkled inside. So I'm making this mandrel to see if I can bang it through and put them back into their normal shape. Then we'll get the kingpin in. Um, I have cut them a bit with a hole saw, so that's been helping. See how it goes. I uh, made a mandrel the same size as the bush, the new bush, so I've just barred that through after cutting everything, so I'm going to just leave it sit there a while and knock it out again. I think when I put the new bushes in on the other one, I'll have something solid in the middle of that as a mandrel. That should solve the problem. Giving that a polish up with uh, 1500 grit. It's got a nice smooth finish now. A couple of lines there, but should be okay. Sits in grease anyway, so can't see a problem. Yeah, that's me got it down near enough the size of the bush. I can push it up and down with a bit of effort, but I'm just going to run uh, 1200, get it over it now, wet and dry, and see if we can get a nice polish to it. I had the kingpin or something else it's called in the Ford book, but uh, I had it in, but it was too tight, so I brought it out and sanded it down. I've cut a 40 TPI left hand acme thread in it to let the grease come up. So I'm hoping I'm going to try it back in, see if it's turnable now. <laughs> you had to turn it with a bar, but it wouldn't move. <laughs> Just too tight. That's a uh, new bush made for the steering arm here, and I've made a new pin to go through with um, grease holes in it, so you can pump the grease in. It's taking a bit of time, but it's one thing I've got this time, so tomorrow I'll get the dust seal on here and get this all reconnected. I've repaired the kingpin as well, that's working great. 